Hey guys, this is Jason with Mount Baker Foundry, and today we're going to be making some of our own brass out of scrap copper and some of the zinc ingots we poured in a previous video. So you can see here we got our pot starting to heat up, we got our copper cables in there, and here in this yellow bucket we also have a little bit extra copper. All together we have about 100 pounds of copper. And then over here we have our zinc ingots that we made. Um, we're going to be adding about 75 to 80 pounds of zinc. We got our copper warmed up a little bit. Uh, the zinc has a really low melting point, so I like to get the copper warmed up a little bit first. And we're adding in our zinc now. And our goal is to get about a 60-40 ratio of copper to zinc and make some nice yellow brass. And we're doing it a little bit different than is typically done. The Kind of the industry standard is you melt down your copper to liquid and then you add in your zinc but by doing so, the copper has such a high melting point and the zinc has such a low boiling point that you end up boiling off uh, a large component of your zinc, about 10 to 15% as zinc oxide. Um, and so uh, I've found that you can actually melt the zinc down into a puddle and the copper will uh, dissolve in that zinc to form brass without uh, burning off all your zinc fumes. Now that our zinc's molten, I'm just pushing the copper cables down into the zinc and you can see they turn red and they're just starting to dissolve. Now we have most of our copper cables pushed down into the molten zinc and we're going to start adding in this other little bit of scrap wire and once it's all pushed down it'll all be dissolved and we'll end up with a nice pot of brass here that we're about ready to pour. And here's our finished product. We ended up with 207 pounds of brass. And I added about three or four pounds of aluminum in to give it a little extra strength. So I want to get these cooled down and we'll get them analyzed with the XRF gun and see how we did. But we're shooting for that right around that 60-40 ratio of copper and zinc and then probably about a one to one and a half percent aluminum in there. Here's our 
here's the results on the XRF gun of the brass we made. And it's a little hard to see in the picture, uh, but you can see there's about 1.1% aluminum, 59% copper, and 39% zinc. The last one there is tin. There's hardly any tin. And this is kind of a unique yellow brass because we uh, created a brass with absolutely no lead in it. So this is a lead-free brass. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Our contact info is in the description below. So we'll see you on the next video.